yes. Hey, we go. Hey, we're back. Yeah. Yeah, literally all of your settings are the same. It's just streaming to this key instead of the other key. <laughs> all right. So let's close these. Dullahan, don't forget to mute it's one of muted, your yes. things. I mean, one of my things. I muted one of your. Yeah. Uh, no, I meant. Don't you have two instances of Roll20 up? No. Or no? Okay, that's fine. Cool. We're good then. All also, because right. I know everyone was curious, the Reddit for our D100 is private. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. All right, then. What? The Reddit 1D100 is private. All right. We back. Let's go. So, you are on the roof as the morning comes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> do you do anything? Do you sit there and hope that they notice that you haven't come back to the room? Or Cat? What? He's talking to you. Oh, what? Sorry. You're on the roof. Yes. It is now the morning. Are you going to mm -hmm. do anything, or do you just sit and wait and hope that they notice that you didn't come back? I sit and wait. I pull out okay. my book. All right. Well, the rest of you. Um, yeah, the the morning comes. Everybody wakes up. Pretty Check. restful night. All things Check considered. Okay. Yeah, you walk out of the house, down towards the pig pen. Roll perception. Okay. God. I'm with him. If I mm -hmm. get snared, Both of you I roll perception. Never leave this down. I oh wait boy. for him to check it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh oh boy. Neither one of you notice cats sitting on the roof. I walk past. I, uh, well, I oh, mean, I haven't left fine. the building yet. I... Lorag does not wake up. Lorag. Well, I am a groggy person in the mornings. Lorag. The rest is in the chicken. What? Uh. This will wake you up. Tiny hasn't come back yet. Let's go. And on that note, I will uh, very groggily and unsteadily lurch out of bed, throw on pants, grab book, and head out of the room. Okay. So uh, now yeah. a shirtless dragonborn walk around. And I will use message and ask Tiny where she be. Yeah, so when you get to within about 120 feet of where the trap was, you use message, Tiny. In your brain, you hear Vorag ask you, where you be? I'm reading my book and I pull up a page. Borag, where are you in my head? I I can I can do this. I uh, I did it the other day, but they got mad at me. Um, since I got the book. And you're just now telling me this? Well, I mean, I didn't use you know, it till literally very yesterday. It's to enter somebody's <laughs> mind without their permission. I'll have you know that. Well, I'm not in your mind. I'm just like I I I can talk to you. I can't see what you're thinking. It's still very invasive. My apologies. They Please said you weren't here. Next time when you talk to my mind. But I, how could that's not if I verbally ask, permission. ask me permission. <laughs> but that's <laughs> but it verbally ask me permission. How about I just ask you permission right now? No, because it's not the same. Because you're still talking to me inside my head. <laughs> that's <laughs> why well, I just no. I, don't I just talked why. to the good part of the book, and you totally threw me off, and I'm totally not in the mood to even finish this chapter, and I'm on the roof by the pigs. Okay. But I will just now sullenly walk over to the pig pen. Okay. Uh, Stisk, you see all the food that you laid out still there? Taking my rations back. Okay. Chuck the food up. at the pigs. Wait, does he set it off? <laughs> no. I perk up and yeah. I kind of... Do I see both of them? Uh, I mean, yeah, if you, like, get up to look around yeah. and you're not in your there, boat. You? Oh, hey, looks like your trap didn't work there, boys. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Yep. Do I... Pretty I'm gonna look around. Response. I'm gonna look around the snare. Do I see any tracks or anything? Nope. 
That's because nothing even came. <laughs> yeah, except for a unicorn. Wait, what? Uh, Again? Was it the same one? The unicorn was eating the pigs? No, the unicorn was not. Oh, <laughs> Do unicorns eat pigs, Xander? No, they're. Oh, God. I don't know what a unicorn is, anyway. <laughs> you should check on the pigs, Xander. Mm, no, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so, yeah, yes, I'm there was the unicorn. The, uh, that was it. The remainder right. of the food from the platter into the pig pen. Yep. And they. You're feeding the them? The food's gone bad, yeah. Don't feed them. I would argue the apples are okay, but it's all right. They I, I, I threw the apples <laughs> last night. Oh, I thought I thought you threw only threw one, but I. Either way. Anyways, they eat it. Um, by this time, Vorag and Kyler, you make it to the like the little house, and you're able to look up and see Tiny. Hi, Kyler. Hi, Vor. Vor, I'm going to yeah. jump. Are you going to catch me? I mean, I, how tall is this roof? Probably about I'll catch 15, you. 20 feet. Then, yes. Okay. Can I jump off? Sure. Okay. Yeah. And I, <laughs> sure. I catch. When has my dexterity ever failed me? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what makes you really Who nervous. Who is catching you? I, I am. Four is. They four are. are. <laughs> they both <laughs> try. Four. No. Strength check. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? I'm not that <laughs> See? I could have done that. Serious? Four's not that strong. But I'm not hey, that I have a higher strength modifier than an intelligence modifier. It's fine. Actually, I'm okay. So fine. It technically would be athletics, which I believe <laughs> is a strength based check. I, but oh yeah, the ability to catch something is athletics. Should I oh. catch me? Roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh my god. god! Not you, <laughs> tiny. Roll okay. the dexterity saving throw. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I'm having Xander catch me next time. <laughs> this is probably the most reliable thing. Ooh. God. She's you nimble. are able to jump down. She's nimble. And like grab on his arms as he catches you. Uh, he staggers quite a bit, but he's able to catch you and you don't hurt yourself or anything. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. And then I will Good at boy. this point say, is it okay if in emergency situations I message you through your brain? Yes. Thank no. you. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Kyler is like every character I've ever had when message comes up. No one likes message, and it makes me get sad. out of my head. I mean, I'm fine with it, just as long as you ask permission verbally. All right. I mean, so... I just I don't think these things. <laughs> Tiny oh. has been rescued from the roof. So, How did you get up uh, there again? Misty step. I can teleport. Oh. <laughs> She Ooh. says smugly. Do you bring up the fact that it summoned a unicorn again? She already yes. did. No, not to you guys. Not to you yeah, two. Just she was talking to you. Oh, right. Yeah. So. We found out the unicorn is eating the pigs. No, the. Really? That's what no. Cat, that's what <laughs> Tiny said, not cat. There's Xander. a cat over there. I just saw a cat. <laughs> Xander, please. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Xander, could have been that cat. What? What? Oh, what, what is on your that? face today? Where did my you get face. a monocle? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyways, like what hat. Xander? What Xander meant to say was, I <laughs> may have or may have not accidentally um, summoned a mythical creature from a another plane um and a unicorn yes what what she what? totally did a spell and summoned something again without meaning to and? it was probably a unicorn yeah that's that no i kind of that seems the logical step here what i yep. what does this Wait. mean to me no I, i'm just letting you know like you see through that like her maybe maybe not in this Oh, so, okay. anyways, um, Wait. can you do what? that on command? No, six. I can. I, what? Why would I summon a unicorn on command? You've blown bubbles before. The... What? Yeah. The... Have you ever seen her look happy when she's just doing that? What does bubbles have to do with unicorns? 
unicorns! I, I just look at the bubbles. I don't really look at her. Oh, Lord. Anyways. Have you have you tried visiting a magic doctor? Is there some is there like way a they magic could, phone that you can break? Is, is there I some sort of fixing they can do for there's you? Nothing, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm perfectly fine. How come other Anyways. wizards don't magically summon unicorns by accident? Is your I magic phone broken? Pretty sure they do a lot. That's usually yeah, what happens. Yeah, you don't with know. How do you? Person. How would you? How would you know? He wouldn't know, would he? Would he, Max? What? That other wizards don't usually summon unicorns? Yeah. By well, accident. I mean, she's from a very, very large town. There's probably okay, I don't some want, wizards. I don't. I don't want the DM answering that anymore. <laughs> 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 anyways, so. Anyways, back to back to the subject at hand. Mm -hmm. Um, I talked to the unicorn. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, you they talk? Um, yes. Did it go as well as oh, your conversation like the... with the pigs, supposedly? Yeah. Is this like when you talk with the pigs? Look, it was much better than the pigs. Okay, that's all I want to say. That being said, fucking pigs. Um, <laughs> it speaks Elvish. Oh, oh you... what did it say? Um, well, I'm not extremely fluent in Elvish, but I did, I, you know, not? I... <sighs> Isn't that the first thing they teach you in school these days? Can you, uh... Can I'm you so close to fireballing your ass right now. I'm can you write roughly what you heard in the dirt? I'm sorry, what? Can you write roughly what you heard in the dirt, like that time in the library? Do you remember what they said? Can you mimic it? Do I remember, like... Like Max. remember what happened in the library with the, the one can thing? I can I remember like what they like said? Like what the unicorn said? The unicorn? Yeah, you can remember the words that I gave you. Okay. Well I that's I verbally like I write it down in my journal and mm. I hand it to him. It was why well, I mean, with, with well, the uh, I, incident in the library, she didn't necessarily know any of the words and she wrote rough drafts and I was able to read it. So I was hoping for something similar. Uh, yeah, but if she just says it, I might be able to spoken. Yeah. Does she know written? <laughs> exactly. No, she well, would no, not I be able to transcribe it. Yeah. No, but I know, yeah. but I write down the words like that I understood mm -hmm. in my notebook. Mm -hmm. All I oh. know is that what I got from it was the translate for the rough translation. Again, I'm not completely fluent. I got why, um, why, Faye. Portal. Forest. What else was it? Forest. Okay, I'm gonna what, say that, that back to her. <coughs> okay. Does it sound like this? this. These are the exact words. Yeah, it sounded exactly like that. Okay, then yep, that's exactly what you heard. Okay, well, um, at least I know that some of that teaching from that one uh, wizard didn't go mm -hmm. completely. <laughs> useless um so i happened so while all this was happening um i hap i tried my my darnness i probably did a horrible job i was able to communicate in a very um what's a very broken elvish way to say like a direction because i wanted to know where it was at like why it was because mm -hmm. i mean it mentioned fey portal so but in it, it was very dramatic I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind having conversations with that again if I actually know Elvis next time or Elvish next time. But um, oh, oh my God, no! <laughs> you did not just ruin it. <laughs> Continue. Kill him again. <laughs> okay. I he grabbed pointed, my axe. It pointed. <laughs> just leave me alone. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. It... <sighs> I raised my axe. <laughs> no, put the axe down. All right, continue. It Better pointed hoof it. in that. It pointed in that direction, and I point in the direction yeah, that like it... down the road, basically. Yeah. What would I know about Fate Portals, Mac? They. Yeah. What would I know? Oh wait, wasn't that you one? Can wasn't roll that one history. portal? Oh wait, I can roll history. Okay. What about uh -huh. that one portal that was? Well, that one portal. You don't know that it was a portal. You know that it was a dryad that was in front of the portal, and that are the lake I, pond. Yeah, but I knew it was a portal. I knew it was a portal. You said I knew no, it was a portal. I said that you knew that dryads usually guarded entrances to the Feywild. But I knew it was like a doorway because of the water. You, that's what you're assuming. That's what your character logically assumes based on all the oh, information. Oh, okay. That you had. Okay. Okay. That's fair. What would Jesus. I know about Fey portals? I'm rerolling. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> History. Jesus. 
All right, so hold on. Can I have the 18, please? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give it to you because I didn't see the first roll because I was tabbed up. Yes! Which way? What? Boxing. <laughs> Can oh, we like, make you alt tab in the future? No. All right. <laughs> Xander. Not Xander. Stisk. You know that Elvish lore states that the material plane came to be from the Feywild. And that the Feywild is like another plane of existence and that it seeped out into the material plane, creating the material plane through portals. That's about all you know. Okay. Xander explains all this. That's lies and slander. Xander, so you know the 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 creature, the unicorn I ran to? Okay, how you know what a horse is? Oh yeah, of course. Think of think of a horse with like a horn on its head. Like on the side of its head? No, like right on the how forehead. It... And I like point it at my forehead. And it's magic. And apparently like it talks. Wall. It's magic. He doesn't, he oh, doesn't know what you just say narwhal. <laughs> no, no, you, what? What? what is a narwhal? What's a narwhal? Oh, what why did you say narwhal? What's a narwhal? Horse. God damn it. Okay, yes, okay, a horse with the so, horn. It, yeah. so, it's ma- so it's magical. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's magical. So it's not like a normal animal. It's not like a pig. And I glare at the pigs. So oh, that's this, rude. Th- Xander, so this this unicorn spoke to me. Okay, I talked to it. Okay, I can talk to animals too. No, no, but it's not. It's you not can? like I just said. It's not. Yes, six. You can. It's true. I don't know how, but anyways, this is not a normal animal, though. Okay, this is like um, like those spiders. You know those spiders we fought. Is that a good, good example? Yeah. yeah. Uh... It's, like, it's like the spiders we fought, though they're not. They're not. They're not mean. This okay? unicorn can be invisible. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes, you know Xander, what? and that's you know how what? it shows up. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kyler's right. Yep, that's how it. That that's how it appeared. It came to stop by and have a chat with me. To and say that's hi. today's magical creature lesson, Xander. Congratulations. <laughs> and it might be. I'm getting hungry. Anyway, Xander. No, no, no. So what? I'm, Xander. What Isn't there a meeting <laughs> we're supposed to have? Is it, and remember, I pull out, I, no, I pull out, I pull out some of my, I pull out some, I pull out one of his rations and I hand it to him. Here he goes, Andrew. Okay. And I just leave him. I don't remember. Right. So your history roll that I'm giving you. I throw the ration um, to the pigs. <laughs> bless the DM. You know, but a hoot. basically everything that I explained that, um, the material plane was created from the Feywild, um, according to Elvish lore and that. You spelled it wrong. Wow. <laughs> so remember, Xander, they're <laughs> invisible. And they could be around you at any time. I just ready my axe on the Anyways, <laughs> um, you know that there's a place on the a continent to the north of you called the Sea de la Vie. And that it is a giant white tree. And that is supposedly like the birthplace of the material plane and where the two portals, like the two planes intersect and meet. Um, so you would think that like, that was where a portal would be. Um, and then you think back and the fact that it's pointing down the road, you kind of think about the fact that maybe it was pointing to that place that the dryad was at. You don't know, you're kind of confused. I mean, at least it was something. I mean, I, I feel I feel like the unicorn was was trying to be helpful as much as it could with my understanding how it like with everything that happened. But I do find it odd that it we got nothing between myself, sticks, and uh and i'll Vorag. stare awkwardly at vorag uh <laughs> are you kidding me right now uh, vorag. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull out my i'm gonna pull out my book i'm gonna cast message and i'm going to only say the word racist for the next 10 minutes in his head <laughs> Gosh. 
Jesus Christ. And I'm just going to stare at him the entire Regardless, time. Regardless, the three of us, <laughs> why is he so loud? The know, three of us. so loud? What are you talking about? The three of us oh. can teach do, you do can, Elvish can in our of, spare time. Yes, the three of okay. you could teach her Elvish in her spare time, in your spare time. I would actually keep that in mind. Very much enjoy that if that. So the next okay. time you accidentally call your friend, and hopefully that one, and not some sort of abyssal demon to murder us all, then <laughs> we can communicate with it. That would be great. I would very much enjoy that. Could you please stop shouting in my head? I what the hell are you talking about? Shouting. Hello. What are you talking about there? Farag. Tyler. He's what? right there. What are you talking about? Huh? He's, right... a... Kyle. He's doing the mind talking thing. What? Your mind is talking, mind talking? to you? In the sound what? of Bork? Bork. What? What? Hmm? Bork, quit it. Uh, I'm hungry. Bork. I'm going to walk towards the main building. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, like, I'm giving, putting I'm giving... to the communal building. <laughs> I'll put my pinky in my ear and twist around going, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm giving Bor gonna... a look like he better fucking knock it off right now. Like I'm looking at him like and like I'm mom going... like don't you better fucking knock it off right now. I'm just gonna <laughs> say no much like but, but roll every intimidation time with, every okay. time with him. Oh. Well, I know it's not very effective, but I'm still doing it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Stink she's angry. She's angry. So wait, wait, wait. What is he? What did you say that you're? I I said gnomish. Uh, this is what he gets for continually being racist. Forge, we're not getting any. And I say in gnomish, this we're not getting anywhere with this. We have, you know, some. We have more clues. Can we please continue on? I don't want to stay here for very long. Oh, don't worry. It's it's fine. It's he can still work. I look at him and I go. I swear to God. I, if, I, this, I, if this if this if this is inhibiting us. I'm going to fireball your ass. Call him by his name when I'm getting embarrassed. Look at him. Look at him. Now he's on the ground. Look at what you were doing to him. All right. I will, uh, I will tell Tiny that I'm he's going to He's in the fetal position, Bor. I will tell. <laughs> I've, I promise I'll stop. And then I'm going to roll deception, and I'm going to decrease the volume by half so it's not completely destroyed. You better roll deception. Uh, roll insight, Tiny. I can hear him, too. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of shaky, but you don't think that he would lie to you. Betraying my trust. I, it's not that. I find this now humorous, but I did decrease the volume, so it's no longer just shouting in his head. And yeah, now there's just somebody talking in the back of your head. Yep. For the next 10 minutes. I'm going to grab a drink, BRB. I apparently have broken him so bad that his <laughs> knee. <laughs> All right. So it's probably about 11 at this time, and you guys hear the bell of the church begin to ring. So, oh, fuck. Well, hold on. He went BRB. I need to ask him a question. <clears throat> I already walked off to the Camino building. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yep. no, no. I, I, I wanted aware. to ask. Well, I wanted to ask <laughs> like, what, them while they're here. Like, did anybody else, you know, hear anything? Or. I got nothing. I thought I heard a growl, but it could have just been my imagination. Okay, was he was Bor the one that experienced it, or was it no? It was Kyler. He experienced the the talking of like the, the howl? howling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the howling. Okay, he got the howling. I, I heard maybe one growl. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he he would have told you like that he heard howling or anything like that. Oh, that reminds me. Did anyone ask if there's like a, any caves nearby? No. Nope. Okay. You well, don't assume so. It's pretty flat. Like plains type land. Oh, that's true. I just realized we've been on the night soundtrack this whole time. Whoops. Can, I'm so sad. I cannot hear any music that's been playing for like three sessions now, and I don't know what it is. You have to enable it in your settings. Yeah. Okay. If you're using... You might have to do it again. If you're using Firefox, you might have to like re give the page permission. Yeah. Um no, I'm in Chrome. And um, I don't I don't know. See... Chrome could just be broken to be honest. Yeah, it's Anyways. Oh, wait. Now I hear it. I got it now. Oh my god. So but, tight. um There we go, Jesus. Yes. Yeah, Kyler would have told you when you asked that he had heard oh, the album. Okay. Excellent. 
Um, uh, if we don't get anything from this town meeting, do you want to stay here? Do you want to investigate that portal or what? I mean, to be honest, I'd like to investigate a portal. If there's, uh, you know, if obviously we know that something's here, something here is not right, and I'm going to have to assume that it has something to do with some magic. So, I mean, if a mystical creature pointed in a certain direction and mentioned Fey Portal, I feel like that's a big hunch that we should probably check it out. I mean, do you agree? Are you, are you sure I, you weren't just at, he was asking why you keep summoning him from a Fey Portal? <laughs> no, no, because, oh, you know what, Kyler? I'm going to ignore that because I know that Styx here specifically said what I heard the unicorn say. And... Has she was right. you know agreed that you know that's what I heard. So based on that, also the fact that you heard those howling, those howling, you know, noises at night. I like would I make the deduction that they might be communicating? That wolves respond to howls. Inside dogs well, bark at darks yeah. all the time. Well, okay, well I'm don't I, I don't want to you know be mad. No, at no, no, no. Yeah, your character would yeah. absolutely know that wolves okay. would respond. So I want to. Wanna, I, so I want to you know. I think knowing wolves are great trackers and everything like that. I want to say that they might have known that we were here. That's whatever actually not a bad here. idea. Who so here whatever, is... whatever was here and has been terrorizing these people here knew that we were here. I don't know if it was our scent or whatnot, like, but I mean, those the howling at night and then absolutely nothing. It just seems way too fishy to me. Xander. Wait. Is not near us, never mind. You can talk to animals, right? Yes, I can talk to animals. Why don't we go talk to the wolves? That's exactly what I was going to request. Hey, Four. We're huh? going to go into the forest. You're insinuating we're going to go into the forest, find some wolves, hope that they're not, you know, they're not dangerous. Just don't go into their territory. And have you seen where? Xander? Did you just okay? You guys did watched you just, him walk to the communal building. You did know you where just insinuate that we go and find wolves that are not in their own territory and talk to them? Yeah. Do you know how dangerous that is? We can. Do you, we... do you remember that time that we said that it was a plan for Xander to howl as loudly as he can? I think he might fit in with the wolves, so I'm sure we'll be fine. That's brilliant. Um, really do you really think a wolves. bunch of wolves will approach? Us. Don't have to approach us, just have to make noise. Yep. We just have to be close enough to communicate, and if they want to attack us, then they would attack the villagers, and they haven't Push. attacked these villagers for centuries, apparently. Kyler, can you track? I, what do I look like? Some sort of game hunter? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know what you look I'd, like. You look I wouldn't be surprised if Xander could track them down, to be honest. Okay, I mean, so he, after he the meeting, trap. you want to try that? I'm fine with that. So yeah, uh, the the bell's been ringing. You're watching the townspeople slowly migrate to the church. I mean, let's go. Let's go. I here. walk out with like a plate with following the people. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna motion. Can I just mention that I uh, I have no idea why I wanted this town meeting. <laughs> I forgot entirely. Why, oh. <laughs> you wanted to why, ask we, questions. We wanted, yeah, we wanted to ask questions to the of like of the actual townsfolk because we couldn't find anything else. Okay. I think, maybe I, that, think I had something else wrong. planned, but I forgot it in two weeks, so... No, the issue was Write more screamed down. in your head, and you, you couldn't remember, because of the mental probably. trauma of being screamed at. No, yeah, I probably. didn't scream at him. It was more just the repetition of the one word. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you guys <laughs> walk towards the church. All right, Kyler, you call for this meeting. Go get them. Yeah, so you guys walk in. Um, you kind of like stand around the back and stuff like that. Eventually, the the pews fill up with the townspeople and everything. Oh, um, um, actually, real quick, before this, before I walk into the church, I'm going to walk into the abandoned building and go get the rest of my clothes since I only have pants right now. Mm -hmm. I just remembered that. I just wear pants. Yes, I know, but I have a shirt, and I'd like to not be in front of the people without a shirt. Okay. Xander, it's because you have it's because you have flesh on you. I have scales. Okay. 
All right, yeah. So you're able to get all your stuff. You walk into the church, um, and you guys are basically greeted with the sight of everybody sitting down. Everybody looks pretty solemn. They're not really sure why there's a meeting going on. Uh, some of them look pretty harassed, um, like they've got better things to do, um, which you know is true. A lot of them feel like they should be in the fields trying to salvage what little bit of survival they can out of it. Um, at this point, Hagwin will stand up on in front of the altar uh, and he'll call out to everybody and say <clears throat> now listen i understand that everybody's got work to do i've got work to do myself but we called this meeting here because our friends over here from the red ivy are convinced that they can help us with our problem and i would like everybody to give them their attention and help them as far as we can and hopefully saloon's good graces will be back upon us uh, and he kind of like gestures to you kyler as he does it i'm going to step away from the people well not from us and move through the crowd they're all sitting in pews never mind <laughs> <clears throat> yes hello village people <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> you young man <laughs> We... Feel that. <laughs> Sisk in the back, no. just young man. Yeah, continue. Anyway, we have come from the Red Ivy to help you with your supposed magical beast problem, whatever you guys have. Take a loud crunching bite from my food and still have. I said, young man. God. God. Continue. Uh,. So I have asked that we have a town meeting so uh, we can gather as much information as we can from everybody so that we might have an idea of what we're dealing with. Uh, we are obviously not from here, and you guys have lived through this terrible tragedy for far too long, so we're going to help you end it as soon as we possibly can. Uh, did anyone know who lived in the house that we're staying at? And I'll kind of describe where it's at. Um, as you're talking, a older gentleman who looks to be definitely past his prime, a human gentleman will stand up and start screaming, it's the beast. The beast is what's doing this with the yellow eyes and the, the teeth and, and it's Saloon's curse upon us. We've done this to ourselves. No outsiders are going to help. What's Saloon's curse? <clears throat> okay. I'm pretty sure that's the one that wasn't that the crazy one that they were talking about earlier. When, as he's yeah, like standing we, and yelling and stuff like that. No, you did not. As he's standing and yelling and stuff, um, you can see like the rest of the town folk kind of like looking at him disbelievingly. And okay, and what was the so name again? you're you're the you're the villager Where? who saw this creature, right? I have seen it twice. Where? When? moons ago and back on the outskirts of the village towards the creek could towards you show creek? me where wait, wait, wait. where's the creek oh wait it's like it's not on the map but it's okay. in like this area wait Stis, this area. Why, why don't you help this fine gentleman and go go have him show you where the creek is right now sure so the rest of us can carry on with our meeting i am gonna need some help though in case i get lost xander do you want to come with me what? You can still eat and go, Xander. It's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Plus, you might find some fish in the creek. All right. Yeah. Um. So you guys like start walking towards him as he's continuing to be like, "It's it's the carts, and we've we've done this to ourselves." And you know, he's kind of like going a little crazy. Um. At this point, you'll see. Eros, the guy that you did talk to, um, stand up and he'll walk over to that gentleman um, and kind of like put his arm on his shoulder and help lead him towards the center of the aisle and down to you, Stisk. As that's happening, uh, Tiny. Yes. What do you want me to ask this guy? Ask him where in the direction. Um, if it's in the direction of the Fae portal, then I definitely think we have more than enough reason to go check it out. Other than but that? Scout, scout the area. Um, ask him if you've seen 
besides just yellow eyes, if you could give a better description. Look for clues by the creek. See if uh, Xander can track anything down. If and we can, we'll come back and get you. Yeah, let us know. All right. Side um, note, just a jog memory from two weeks ago. We found a different set of robes, right? Yes. Like, I was actually just about yeah, to they, do something like some sort of cultist robe. And now a... I'm remembering my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, start yelling at him against me, forgets. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I want I you was... out of here. <laughs> you found robes, but you're not, you don't necessarily know if they're like cultist robes Deep, or whatever. Dark cultist yeah. robes. Yeah. Um, and when you ask that question about whose house you're staying in, somebody will tell you that it, it's Stanthiel's house and that they haven't seen him for quite a while. He was one of the first quite to while, disappear. Really. Quite a while is in... Like a couple months. Many, many... Okay, got it. I'm, at this point, I'm going to uh, cast message and uh, tell Kyler to ask these wonderful townspeople if they've seen the symbol and actually physically show them the robe. And then I'm going to go to where I can see all the townspeople's faces. Vor, yeah. stay in my head for as long as you can. And if we find something, it'll be a bit easier than having to rely on. Well, well, Wait, I mean, it only lasts for hear. 10 minutes. No, no yeah. He can't, hear. And then, he can't and... hear anything that you hear. That's not how it works. Well, I mean, I could, I, the communication is big on, like, that's what he wants, but it only lasts oh. for 10 minutes. And it would take, I guarantee, longer than 10 minutes for you to get to that creek. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Well, I tried. And at this point, you and Xander and the old man and Eros would have, have left the, the church. Okay. And you're standing, yeah. like, outside of it. And now we can pull out the robe. Okay. So you bought the robe to no uh, great, like, effect? <laughs> all right. Can I and roll I point to the symbol? See if anyone and I'll ask has, like, seen how many of the people in the village recognize this? Uh, yeah, you can roll insight. Well, fuck. Okay. Nobody looks super stunned or anything, but... Yeah. Um, everybody says that they look like common robes or common working robes. Um, which seems to match, like, your description of them. They're like common traveler's clothes. Um, when you show the symbol around, somebody says they think that they've seen that symbol in a bin and that they'll take you to the bin if you want a bin yes mm -hmm. i will not question i will say yes yes let's go okay i have no yep. further questions assuming no uh -huh. one else can give us any other information or volunteered any information when we asked for uh, no i mean really they'll be like a lot of it will be mutterances of where's rochelle where's her dead. kid dead uh, what are Please you tell saying me you dead? Say no, Please. no. Okay, <laughs> I was about to flip. Um, um, you know, have you done anything? Why did it take the red ivy to get here so long? You know, do you realize it's not a short distance? I will say that. Common like things that you really kind of already discussed with Hagwin, to be honest. But now the people are getting the chance to voice their concern instead of him doing it for them. That's fair. Um, At this point, I will ask the people one question. Mm -hmm. How uh, how decently friendly are the wolves around here? I know they haven't attacked anyone, but are they particularly friendly? Or I mean, they're wolves, sir. The we're blessed by Saloon, and Saloon's wolves, that pack, we believe are her children. She puts them here to protect us. We we're, we're not sure. We leave them alone, and they leave us alone. Is how we see it. Okay, but if have the like, have, is there much interaction other than obviously no. you try to avoid them? But you like, leave them alone, and they leave us. Alone. Has uh, there been anyone who ever threatened to do anything to them? Not from our town, at least that we're aware of. All right. Nobody here would want any harm to come to them. Let's go see this bin. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, so Stisk and Xander, uh, you guys walk with Eros 
Um, he tells you that he'll take you to the creek. That there's probably one place that he would have seen them by the creek, which is where they do like their bathing and you know washing and that kind of stuff. Um, and he brings you down to the bank of a very small, like probably three foot wide creek. It's not very deep at all. The water moves pretty quickly. It's just like a little stream, you know? Um, And there doesn't really seem to be anything around it. Both of you roll. Stis roll investigation. Xander roll survival. Ah, An actual good investigation. Oh, I wish that was for Lou. Okay, I'm back. There's going to be some noise. I'm going to go to push the talk. You're good. Yep. Um, so you see, Stisk, you see a fresh set of small footprints. Um, you pick them up probably a couple hundred feet from the village. They seem to be leading, um, kind of like from where you're walking from. So you pick them up like over here, but with the direction they're pointing, they seem like they probably came from this group of houses or something. Okay, Not I'm super sure though. Write um, that it, down. The footprints bring you down uh, to the riverbank, where there is a clear stop, and then you can see drag marks, and then there's no other signs. Uh, are the drag marks fresh? I mean, yeah, the whole set is pretty fresh. Okay. I mean, you're not like a super good tracker or anything like that. Right. Uh, Xander will look down and look at them and tell you that they're pretty decently recent. Um, if you continue investigating, which you would have, um, about a hundred feet away and leading to the south, like not directly into the village, but like just in a south direction, um, are a set of wolf tracks. Uh, how far is the gate and are they large? Do I notice that they're larger than normal or not? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Xander rolls survival. That's better. <laughs> um, you notice that they are definitely set apart and like paw size are bigger than a standard wolf. You do know that some packs have dire wolves. And that this could potentially be the leader of the pack or something. Ooh, got leader. a big one. Yeah. He's How big, big, Xander? What? Big. <laughs> uh, can do you think like if you tried your hardest, you could match its gait, or do you think it's bigger than you? No, it's like when he big. says big, he's big. thinking like a five hundred pound wolf. Not big. You're saying big, big, right? Like big. I don't like know what the words are big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to head back towards the creek. <laughs> so many questions. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, you continue to do your little creek. All right. Back in town, the uh, three of you walk outside with the person that said that they would show you the bin. Yep. This person walks you to um, this house. And around to like the trash bin for the house. This house is Rochelle's, you'll already know. As you look through the trash bin, one of you pulls out a set of robes that are soaked in blood. Oh. Fresh blood? Oh, I completely lied to you. It's this house. It's the abandoned house that you've been staying at. Oh. Well. Um, but yes, you'll pull out another set of robes, but these ones are soaked in blood. It's not super fresh. Um, so it's not warm not blood, like, it's cold. It's not warm or anything, no. It's like a stain. So, okay. Mac, the tracks I found leading back to the house, they were still on that corner, or is it the house we're staying they're... No, they're still on that corner. They're still okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you'll when you look around the robes or anything like that, um, there appears to be another silver moon sewn into the fabric. And there's a decent sized hole, like a, a hole and a tear on the front of the robes. 
Hmm. So this is a pretty knit village, yeah. Not that we're some sort of CIS or C, yeah, CSI, yeah, CSI, yeah. Uh, yeah. you guys. Um, does the blood seem to originate from this hole in the chest area? Like, does it look like something uh -huh. punched through it? You know what? Roll investigation. I or insight, whichever is higher, Kyler, should be the same uh, stat. I have. There. <laughs> you look at the the robes and the way it is, and it doesn't look like these. This blood is from whoever was wearing the robes. It looks like it was splattered onto the robes. Murdering so like the outside of the garment. Yeah, the outside of the garment. Murdering um, cultists. Yeah, essentially. But yeah, that's what uh, you're getting. You never, you never answered my question, Mac. What is is this a very like? Would you say this is a pretty night, tight knit community of people? I mean, you feel like it. Sure. All right. Then, uh, was it a male or a female who uh, walked us to this bin? It was a younger male. Damn. Um. All right. Well, then, I at this point, I'll just take. The, I'll ask Kyler. Do we need the blood on this robe? What? Do do we need the blood on the robe? Please don't tell me you're gonna eat it. Do you want another <laughs> barrage of what happened earlier? I'm just asking. Like, I don't understand Ed, your Ed, question. Why? Why would that be important? What am I gonna do with a bloody robe? Besides the fact point, that like the bloody robe the is telling me it seems to be some sort of. You know, do you guys butcher pigs and robes? I'm, and I'm gonna look I'm at the guy that's with us or let I'm us hear. No. And I'm catching. I'm putting press of digitation, and I'm cleaning the robe. Okay. Cleaning all the blood out, and I'm gonna go find the nearest semi-elderly woman who looks like she knits a lot. <laughs> uh, investigation. These don't go well. With but you disadvantage. Know what? Doesn't hey. matter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As you set off on your quest to find the mysterious knitting old woman, you realize you have no fucking idea how to tell if somebody knits a lot. <laughs> hey, right, you, do you knit? I'm going to uh, go find an elderly woman then, I guess. Do I need uh, to roll investigation again? No, you do go. Eventually, you find your way into the communal hall um, and you do see an older woman. Who's like sitting there preparing food for the day? Then I will walk up to her and politely ask her if she recognizes any of the uh, the stitching on this robe, or who might have done it. Honey, these are a set of common clothes. They could have been bought or traded for, or yeah, but just you know, like just seeing if perhaps you might recognize the stitching, no. especially around this uh, symbol. She'll look at the symbol. Um, honestly, it's not very well done. And even when you look at it, you realize that it was stitched in haste and not done at all. Hmm. All right. Well, then I will, I will bow and politely thank her for her time and then cast messages to Kyler and say, I got nothing. Okay. Uh, by saying. this time, Stisk and Xander would have been back in the village. All right. Okay. Uh, so, we found some tracks that were, they're apparently pretty fresh. I don't know how quote-unquote fresh they are, as in days-wise, but uh, there were some drag marks, and the uh, tracks let, started from the houses over here and led back to the basin where the dragging actually happened, and from there, we saw a, apparently, to quote Xander, Big, big wolf. Well, that fits the description from what we heard from the pigs. That also fits the description of the lady wandering off to look for her child and probably getting abducted. Well, they were small. The prints that he saw were like child sized footprints. Okay, so the child looking for his mom, whatever it was. We've also, heard this story before. Tiny, the wolf tracks headed south.
And if I'm correct, south is where that unicorn pointed, right? As far as we're aware. I believe Max is oh, like southeast. Okay. Yeah. Looks like we're going to the forest to go talk to some wolves. That would seem like the best choice of actions, because I don't know about you guys, but I'm very confused, and I am not a good puzzler. I mean, I just tried to talk to an old woman about knitting, so what's that tell you? <laughs> All right, yeah, guys, so you guys head off down to the Did floor. you guys hear any wolves last night? Yes. We're, did you not? Before we do that, do what you guys want to check out? Ooh. I don't speak to animals like you. <sighs> Do you guys want to check out those houses and see if there are any kids in those houses? We're looking for a missing child who walked away from one of those houses because the one house was that one leader's place and the other house was the other guy. We've been in both yeah, but all these of those are houses. Fresh. These are fresh, though. You did not walk into Rochelle's house. That's the one like house you haven't looked into. Should we do that now? It's up to you guys. I ask, should we check out Rochelle's house since she went missing? Have we not? Yes. No, we have, have not. Now. I thought we did, but okay. No. All, All right, right. Well, let's go. We go. All right. Yep. Uh, if everybody's going inside the house, then you can all roll investigate. Because that goes well. Investigation. I'll stay oh. outside. Okay. Too many people right. in there. Yeah. Wow. You guys walk around the house, um, and it kind of just looks like a house that, like, during the middle of the day, whoever lived in the house was just magically vanished. Like, there's still a cup on the table. You know, there's the bed's not made, anything like that. But it doesn't look like it's been ravaged or wrecked or anything like that. It looks like huh. whoever's home just left. Well, it doesn't look like anybody was dragged out of here. This looks like more of a, a well, willing... Now I have more questions mm -hmm. and less answers. Well, will <laughs> yeah. you detect magic, please? I, I will t I detect the, the magics. Do I detect the you magics? detect none of the magics. <laughs> well, fuck. There are no magics here. Yeah, I could tell once you didn't spout a bloody nose, sadly. Oh, okay, that's... You didn't have detect magic at that stall. You don't know what I experienced. I'm gonna. You don't right know now. me. See, I could see it across your face, <laughs> and your bloody nose. While we're walking, I'm gonna write down a few uh, basic phrases in Elvish, and then okay. show with the pronunciation beneath them, and just tear that off and give it to Tiny. Oh boy. Okay. Oh God! I just realized something. Nope. Shouldn't I get advantage intelligence roll. Like, nope. You did intelligence save. Oh, he did. Oh, I did. That's the same thing. Oh, Can I try thing. it again? Did you alt tab? No. <laughs> did you alt tab? <laughs> Tiny intelligence. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. It's one of the big stats on the side. You just click on them. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. You feel mildly better about your ability to speak. Elvish, even though my handwriting is, is terrible. Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, on that note, okay. I actually have a, I actually have a question. Uh huh. Um, with eyes of the Rune Keeper, how do do I still read that language, or does it just like auto magic translate into auto magic? So I can't. I, do I have the ability to learn other languages, or am I just screwed now? I mean, you technically have... Well, no, yeah, you're kind of screwed. It sets it in the language that's most proficient to you, which is probably the language that you grew up learning. Fuck. You just have to verbally learn it. You can't learn to write it. I say I have to verbally learn languages. That blows. All right, yeah, so you guys make your way down to the forest. I'm going to play board games with Tiny the entire time in Elvish. Okay. Yeah, like I said, tiny your okay. ability to add, read. Should feels I a little add better. broken up elvish? I mean you can. Okay. Uh I'd also like to pay attention to this. Pay attention to what? Oh, yeah, I mean yeah. 
You're there. Language proficiency. Language proficiency. Language <laughs> proficiency. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know why it's not letting me edit it. <laughs> um, you have to I click on the gear. Click it harder. Click it harder? <laughs> yeah. Just click it more, forehead. <laughs> All right, yeah, so you guys make it down into the woods. Are any of you looking out for anything? Always. For wolf. Tracks. Okay, survival, Xander. Yeah, just general investigation. Oh God. You don't see any tracks. Do. Can I get some advantage or something? No. <laughs> Actually, um, for, for, since we're now in the woods, can I roll survival checks instead of investigation checks? Sure. Can Thanks. I roll them as perception checks? No. Oh. What am I rolling then? <laughs> you Language can roll. I mean, you can roll ah! perception for what we're trying to do. Uh, Kyler, also roll perception. I perceive everything. I'd like to roll as well. That's all right. Yep. And not language proficiency. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Um, this, as you guys enter the forest and you're walking, you look down, um, as you get a little bit deeper in and you notice a piece of paper. What's on the paper? You pick it up and it is a letter written to Stanthiel. Um, and it warns that that was in the shack that was missing. Yep. Yeah, okay. It warns that the sacrifices aren't enough and that more need to be done. Uh, this sounds real bad. I hand it to Tiny. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... That guy's alive. Doing... Not only is he alive, but he's also doing what is clear to be sacrificial... Possible offerings. sacrificial offerings hmm. or sacrificial magic, blood magic. I don't know if that's a term that I can use. Not Is that a term I can use? No. Okay. So it'd be sacrificial, sacrificial yeah. rituals. We sure. got ourselves a cult, indeed. Kyler, what do you know about uh, this kind of stuff? Cults are bad, okay. Cults are really bad. Because <laughs> I am definitely not part of one. Yep. <laughs> Can I roll for that? <laughs> Your insight? Uh, uh, yeah, you can roll insight. Cults are bad, but uh, he kind of stutters when he says cults. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you guys continue into the forest, I assume? Um, I mean, were there any tracks so, anywhere around this night? How, oh, well, so. how old does this thing look? Is it like beaten up or does it look like new? It's a little weathered. It's not brand new or anything. But it wasn't like... No rain like, No rain or anything for, like no. affected it or anything like that? So it's not too dirty, but it's dirty. So this guy hasn't been missing for months. He's been lurking and sacrificing. I see. And it's not just him, but it appears to be some sort of a... Uh... Uh, a number Almost of like all these robes with these symbols lead to cultists. Wait, you found more robes? We, we had a second more. pair. Yeah, we yeah, found another one. You guys didn't tell him he wasn't there when you found it. We oh, found yeah. another one. Whoa. Covered so in blood of a sacrifice. Two, two robes? Two robes. Uh, uh, uh. Where, where'd you find them? <laughs> In the trash bin next to the shack. Next What's to this this then? guy's house, which makes sense. The one we were staying at. And we found the other one in the same house too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except well, for that one was shredded. So maybe these wolves attacked this guy because he was sacrificing the villagers. I doubt it. That, I yeah, I highly doubt that. I feel like there's something... More and this is why that one crazy villager believes the curse of Saloon because somebody's harming the villagers and possibly the wolves because sacrifices aren't enough anymore. I highly doubt that, to be honest. Um, My gut is let's not- ask the wolves! Uh, real quick, I'd like to make a... Uh... Oh boy, scene change. That's dark? never good. Um, I'd like to uh, like... ask a quick question. Mm-hmm. Um, now thinking on the subject of how these robes are torn up in cults. Would I 
be able to roll any rolls to guess like if there would be anything that would be related to cultists in a full moon not necessarily for a specific thing but like you don't know but no, I, I, can't. Well, I i would know about magic and like transforming into animals correct like she i would understands. have read something about that yes because mm-hmm. i remember because actually no, transfiguration is really not that common but I wouldn't she hasn't read, read any sort of, about that. Like, erotic out of all book the vast, about like, some werewolves and vampires. You said uh, when I asked this like before anything. that it's a high level magic thing that only high level wizards could do. Mm-hmm. It's not okay, like so. I do know. I do know that it's like tr- you know that know. it like there's the possibility of being able to transform into an animal. Sure. Bork bork. What was that? A Okay. So <laughs> I I want to say that. I want to say that this big bad wolf that we're chasing with the yellow eyes isn't an actual wolf. That's what my money's on, too. And I don't know exactly what the saloon curse is, but, you know, like, with all of the... I would know with, like, folklore stories, correct, about, like, werewolves? Unless yes? they're really obscure about this place. I mean, there's folklore I about... feel I feel like my person would know at least folklore about werewolves and, like, full moons or something, like, basic shit like that. Okay, like, they can't right, be that but... oblivious. I'm trying not to go meta here. Werewolf like, lore oh, well. is not the same here as it is IRL. Were... Okay, so how is the werewolf lore in there, then, in this world? So then that you way I don't... Know... That sometimes things can be cursed to turn into something else against their okay. will, or maybe they ask for it specifically. Would I know um, that it costs kind of like a big price? It could, yeah. Well, no, I'm just asking. Would I know that? I mean, you, you like you know that sometimes it could, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I want to base off the fact that you know I feel like <laughs> if we are dealing with something that isn't human nor an actual beast like face spiders <laughs> yeah like Listen. like face spiders yeah and like a unicorn or whatever stop hating on my spiders no i uh, no never i like, didn't die i don't care if if they uh, okay mm-hmm. all for okay i want to i want to just state too that with the curse of saloon and saloon worshipers any type of worshipers this can't be good, especially with the fact that we found bloody robes and the fact that we had this note stating that, you know, the sacrifices aren't enough. They're sacrificing to something and something bad. And um, that's all we know. Uh, yes. Can I make okay. that? Tyler, uh, you would know that saloon and sacrificing doesn't add up. No. I'm assuming that she ain't that kind of goddess. There's another yeah. goddess that they're sacrificing to, and this is why Saloon is mad, and possibly why there's droughts in this village. It's a whole, whole spiraling mess of we need to fix this. Because you said the uh, the robes on on there didn't march, match any of the known religious uh, symbols, you know, and you know Saloon, so therefore this has to be something different. Uh huh. So this doesn't have to do with just basic cultist worshiping a god that. Isn't it could be any god, god, including ones thought dead. Well, what if, what if it's not a god though? What if hey. rem- what if like that unicorn I talked to last night? They mentioned a fey portal, fey creatures, magic, like those spiders. What if this isn't an actual god religion? What if the robes are a they're a religion based off of a fey creature? This is, and a this very is bad one that has that. to do with rituals. Well, how, why is it too malicious? We're dealing with a missing there woman, is 100%. a missing child. Hold on. And, we're, and, you know, like the fact that there was you're, a struggle. And, you're an elf? Like, There's yep. 100% bad fae, arch fae, that are okay. super yeah. evil and bad. Extremely bad. Yeah, I mean, the spiders were fae. Oh, well, never mind. The spiders were not fae. No. Okay. Well, okay. Well, they're not fae, but they're, they're magical. M- magical beasts. Okay. Magical so dickheads. that being, and I'm I'm saying this out loud to everyone, by the way, I'm not just like saying this out of character. Uh huh. We're not dealing with, we're not dealing with a god. Nope. At least that's what my gut is telling me. Like all of the clues that we found. That like, could and now be that true. Note, 
and, we're, and is, we could also could be dealing with one. It yeah. just might be a lesser known one, not one of the 12. That's not the point. That, Whatever it is, is getting people killed and we have to stop it. Okay, but yep. I mean, I would still like, Kyler, regardless, I would still like to piece these pieces together and share, you know, share the bigger picture with everyone. So I know that we're trying to be a smart lady here. Yeah, My I'm idea. Trying, well, I'm, I'm not even just, I'm just trying to make sure that we all communicate and we're putting all these pieces together and we're verbally saying it so we're all on the same page. Especially for poor Xander here, who isn't even listening to a word I'm saying. I take one step away from you guys, and I'm just going to howl. <laughs> yep, I knew it. Uh, that's, I was wondering why Do you, you moved. I was waiting. Yes. Okay. Xander, please don't. Don't do that. Do Xander. <laughs> Xander. I'm stealthing. When you howl, Four about on a your minute shoulders. later. Yep, that's it. A howl answers you in response. It is very meaty. It's not like a normal. You are used to wolf howls. Mm-hmm. It's a lot deeper. Xander. Let's go talk to it. Yeah. And it's, it's far off. It's obviously talking yeah. back. Let's go talk to him. You know it's the big one. Wait, hold on. No, we can't. We obviously know that it's a 500, you know, almost a 500 pounder. Or I should say Xander described it as a big, big wolf. Okay. Yep. Xander doesn't describe anything so far. That if he's the pack a- leader, he's the one we should speak with. Okay, you just said it sounded though? meaty, or what? Like, yeah, deep. you said he said yeah, it's it sounded like, meaty. That you, yeah, it's yeah, not like a it's normal deep wolf. and meaty. Do I don't know if it sounded like aggressive or anything like that. Not necessarily. Um, after the response call, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention to Xander. Why don't you try actually like talk talking talking to it and do he that again this- and see what happens. He, he knows that it's that that howl that howl that responded to you like is far off. He's not close to you, and uh, you for a fact know that like howls could travel for miles. Mm-hmm. So like, when he says like you should talk to him, you already know that, that wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was figuring you could shout wolf words i don't know man i got one i got a negative one in intelligence i'm trying i don't know if i feel um xander do you know how close it could be that howl would he know Mm, it's it's far very far (laughs) yeah okay that kind of makes me feel a lot better because deeper into the forest Okay, how dark is it getting dark? Like it's not necessarily dark, that it's so getting the it, sure. map is dark. It's getting okay. dark slowly, but the canopy is of the forest out of the light like the lower. other forest. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to cast a uh, dancing light. Okay. Let me get the spell out so I can read it again. Okay, so it's a cantrip. Um and it's four of them. So I'd like mm-hmm. one above me, and I want to put one up with Xander and one with Kyler because Styx disappeared, mm-hmm. and I don't know where he's at. So I assume he's around, but I don't. I want to put at least a light on. Each Excellent of idea, people. Tiny. My armor will reflect it. He's going to amplify your light even better. <laughs> yes, it will actually. No, you're really Not shiny. Much, but you're really shiny, yeah. Kyler. Don't make me have Vor scream in your mind. All right, you guys. I am legitimately thankful. I'm hurt that you think otherwise. About an hour further deeper in, you guys come across a corpse laying on the road. It is the body of a woman. Do any of you investigate it? Yeah. I will that investigation. Oh, I've I'm... got this. Let me investigate. No, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I am mediocre. Uh, you can tell that it's a woman. Um, I investigate around her if I see any tracks. Can I do that? Okay. Yeah, survival. Survival. Come on. <laughs> it's like um, a thing. <laughs> you guys can see that she looks to be in the age frame that you would assume like a young mother is. Um, as you continue to look, you see that she is holding something in her hand. I'm just going to look around us. I'm going to check out to see what's in her hand. When you pull out whatever is sitting in her hand, you realize that it is a blood-soaked piece of black fabric. All right, there's... 
does this particular piece of Nani? fabric match the hole that is in the robe? If you hold it up to the robe, yes, it matches. Like, she's the reason that she went to grab and rip at whatever was wearing this, and that's the piece of fabric that ripped off in her hand. Huh. Guys, it matches. Do I see anything around us? Not really, no. Okay. Anything? No one? It's the piece of... It's the hole. Mm-hmm. Well, since... So... Ooh, she was either working with nice. or was abducted by. I mean, it doesn't necessarily look abducted so much as maybe trying to stop the purse. Um, it's also I worth noting that she's got Let me just make sure that I've got it written. Yeah. Um, she's got like blunt trauma to her head and stuff like that. Oh. But like she, she has killed. no. She didn't just like die of natural causes. So not like scratching, but like thumping. Nope. Mm -hmm. So this person actually murdered her. Moida! It... Why does it have to be cultists? No. What's he got against cultists? It seems like she was murdered. Are there any footprints around her? Nope. The ground's pretty hard. Does well, she have any... anything else on her? Like, she doesn't have one of those robes or anything or that symbol on her anyway, no. does she? Uh -uh. She's got, like, normal and she does... clothes on her. She's got, like, literally nothing else on her? Yeah, not really. She's got, like, she'll have a couple pieces of copper and dress. Um... Like basic jewelry. And so, stuff like that. could I assume this is the lady that just up and left her house? Yeah, you definitely assume that. Okay. She matches the description of the the woman that you would have gotten from town. Borag, do you have a shovel? No. Xander. Is but there one in Explorers Pack? Or? Probably. One of you would probably have some type yeah. of spade. Yeah. Why don't we take her back to the village and, you know, let them know that we found the body? Because we still have investigating to do tonight, so I was going to, you know, make a marker somewhere so we could easily find our way back to her so we don't lose her in this massive forest. Uh, uh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, yep, uh, you're able to to do that with a shovel um doesn't really take that much time or effort or anything anything else i think that's it unless anyone else wants to do anything before we continue forward well i guess we just go deeper into the forest all right you guys continue forward into the forest it's about this time that you hear another howl all right and you hear rummaging in the leaves um, it is very close to you. I need everybody to update their health on their character thingies. I did. Holy. Yep. I don't remember how many hit points I have. It should be on your character sheet. <laughs> I know. I was finding it. Give me a break. No. Can I preemptively sell again? What does the house sound like to me? <laughs> uh, like a big ass wolf. Uh, um, it doesn't sound like any wolf you've ever heard though. Can I preemptively Sounds a little stealth? unnatural. Uh, okay. I mean, no. You would have been walking with them. You're not necessarily... I hear a howl, though. Right. <clears throat> this is all happening all at the same time, though. Ah, okay. No issue yet. Gotcha, gotcha. It's like a surprise howl. The worst yeah. kind. So, like, just walking along and... Oh, woo. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be so off-putting. Oh. <laughs> You, one might even say Bork Bork. All right, let me just open a couple things here. A couple seconds after that initial howl, you guys all hear another howl. Xander, this one is Jorah Wolf, although it does sound larger than it really would. What was that? This one is for sure a wolf, for although sure it does wolf. sound 
larger than it normally would. Like, doesn't and sound now, unnatural like the one I heard before. No, this one doesn't sound unnatural. This one sounds natural. Just big. Okay. Um, Now everybody's going to roll that sweet, sweet initiative. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, boy. Initiative. Yup. Thank you. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the grease lightning? <laughs> oh, yeah. I might be if I can remember where to find an oh, there's initiative. Ah. That's what I was expecting for myself. I've, I've got, got my out. new icon in two. <laughs> I, don't I know, see that. Guys, I, y'all worried about this like wolf, but I'm telling you, we got to focus on this piece of cloth. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I rolled a two. To, I'm All not right. paying attention to anything. As that happens. One second. <laughs> from out of these bushes roll 20 work with me please no kill the monster roll 20 save us appears a large bigger than Xander wolf like creature standing on two legs tattered robes descending off of his body his blood-stained face Is that as he howls again and looks in your direction. His growl By the back. gods, <laughs> that wolf ate a person! It's possible. Wolf. Why is that wolf wearing people clothes? I can't tell if you're clothes? sarcastic or actually that stupid, Kyler. I am insulted. Hey, Xander, that wolf That's thinks it's people. That's all my half the time when you talk. That's not a real wolf. <laughs> No, it is not. All of you will know that. <laughs> that... But I knew it first. <laughs> I know that it goes before everyone else. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, God. Where is it? I don't see it on that. It's you right highlight? Bing. here. Put your mouse uh, over to the turn order. Oh. I see. Pretty nifty. All right. He it's blends going... in. Yes, he does. Run forward. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at me doing my job already. I don't want to be here. And, <laughs> and, and he's going to claw at Stisk. Oh. 15 plus 4, I'm going to assume hits. Uh, yeah. Mm. Why couldn't this happen after I had on Kenny Dodge? Seven points of damage. Okay. He then is going to gonna bite down. Again. Huh? Mac is going to kill six again. Oh, Probably. Are you sure about that, Mac? Probably not. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, I don't think hit you, right, Kyle? Oh, God, no. All right, yeah. So he goes down to bite you and kind of like glances up your arm. And that's his turn. At the end of his turn, you hear another deep howl in God response to his howl before. Tiny, your turn. Um. Hold on. I'm looking. So it's not like holding weapons, right? It's just swinging his claws? Smashing, yep. That'd be extra scary. I'm going to use magic missile on him. Okay. Do I cast it at level one or is it two? You can cast it at level one. Fuck! God damn it! My push the talk button is all weird. Sorry, it just backed me out of it. Gosh dang it! Okay, magic missile. Oops, sorry. 
<laughs> Magic missile. <laughs> yeah. I was just asking if I cast it at level two. You I don't think I do. You can cast it at okay. level one or two. I believe you casting can it at level two makes it stronger. The, but, but it would it use a second level spell one slot. Of your level soft. Yeah. So that was at level one, right? No, it was at two. Okay. So I think it does four and nine damage. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. So you guys watch as the purple, like shard, forms in Tiny's hand and then shoots out towards the wolf-like creature, doing damage as it explodes against its body. All right, it's disc, your turn. Okay. Oh, wait, Tiny, you don't move or anything? I mean, well, I'm I on mean, Boar's shoulder. She's on I mean, my shoulder. Can, yeah, you can, at this Kid point, for future reference, we're going to say that you can use five feet of your movement to jump up or jump down from Boar. Okay. Um. Could you put Tiny on top of Boar? Because I was planning on moving between there and asking that question. I mean, like, yeah, oh, just above him, him there. So, yeah, I'm going to move here. No, I'm going to stay on board. Well, no. So, you're right here. You're in melee. Okay. Oh, I am in melee. Yeah. yeah. That's why he was able to hit you with a claw. Okay. And you're going to stay on his shoulders? Okay. So, Stisk, your turn. Yeah. All right. Well, seeing as how I'm here, duh, where did I? Huh. Oh. Okay. You swing out and hit with your lance. Go ahead and roll damage. You watch as this lance pierces into the side of the werewolf and it howls out deeply. And then you pull the lance back and the blood stops dripping and seeps back into its body. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. <laughs> no, fuck. Uh... We don't have. Yep. You were you were saying it was a normal world, like wolf again, I'm Tyler, gonna... right? Right? No. Yeah. You want us to talk Mac. to it now? I didn't want to talk to this one. I want to talk no, to the big one. Too. Mac, can what? I? If I one. were to disengage, can I disengage or do I still have to roll to get out of the melee? You have to use your disengage as an action, but you attacked, so you can't disengage this turn. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Oh, bonus. For, for my own sake. No, hold on. Oh, you know what? You can disengage as a bonus action. So, do we have to roll anything to do that? No, or? you nope. just disengage. Uh, um, you can move your full movement. I don't want to be away from people. I remember what happened last time. <laughs> so, you were right next to us, actually. Go ahead, Kyler. What? The, the howl that we heard earlier mm -hmm. was very different from this guy's howl, right? Mm hmm. Okay, good. Can they well, tell? Not very, no, not very different. <laughs> to you, it sounds the same. Okay. I'm Hunter marking them. Okay. Yep. Let me add... God damn it. The thing... Okay. And then he's getting a glaive. Sure. Whoop -ha! That hits. Uh, there, there's. Oh no, that never mind. Mm -hmm. You cut and... down across his body. Go ahead and roll your hunter's mark. Nice. Not necessarily. All right. Yeah, you got. You cut down across his body with the glaive, and it makes a slash across his chest, and it looks super deep. Um, as you pull through. You watch as the wound starts to heal itself. But does it heal entirely? No. Well, that's fine. He still bleeds. Xander. I'm going to rage. Mm -hmm. Run up to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Cut it in half, Xander. Great. I'm going to help him axe. and cheer him on. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's actually, I get, I get something for that, though. What? My mastermind, I can use a help action as a bonus action additionally. It's not yeah, your turn. This isn't a... Yeah. Aiding an ally in attacking the target. 
the target that's, of that attack be within 30 feet of you. That's something you do during your turn and then my next turn, right? I would think so. Hold on. It's under the mastermind thing. Yeah. It, but you also had to use your bonus action already to, to disengage. Ah. Okay. I don't get however many bonus actions I want. No, no just no. No. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god, no, I wish. Yeah, help action as a bonus action, and it's on your turn. On oh, my turn, thank you. Mm -hmm. Swing my great axe. You hit it. Plus two for rage. Mm hmm. 13. Sure. You watch as your axe bites into it, and you take a second to pull your axe out, and the wound heals. That other how the second how do I know how close that one is? It's very close. Wait, 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 wait. When There's I used another one the close bolt, by. When I used the bolt, did it make them, like, it didn't, did it not do anything? Did it, like, heal them? Like, because I don't know, because I just know that, like, when six hit him, it healed when they drew blood. Mm -hmm. Same thing with him. So you do I not really know? You can't really tell with <sighs> magic missile because of the way that the spell works. Borag. Borag gets the turn. All right, then uh, I'm going to move. As your turn is happening. Oh, boy. Continue. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I'm going to move here. Where? There. Oh. They would be hmm. appearing as your turn is happening. Well, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's that's where I'm moving. Nice straight line to this dickhead. Okay, Tiny is on you, so she's moving with you. Yep. <laughs> well, we'll fuck, just put and it down then here. I will uh, pull out my book and uh, I will firebolt the uh, the werewolf. Okay. So da 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 da. Pop it, hit. Um, uh, yes. It doth. Yay. All right. You watch as the fireball swirls from the pages of your books and you speak a word and it shoots forward, nailing this wolf and you hear it scream in pain. Does people scream? It kind of sounds like it. Mm -hmm. All right. One second. And then, uh, so these wolves over here, these gray ones, yep, are like three times the size of the other ones. Oh boy! But they're not large size. No, they are medium. Are they horse sized, taking up two spaces? Nope. Then they're not that big of a wolf. No, they're pretty big. I've seen bigger. Six. What am I doing? Okay. What are they doing? And oh, you get each on their own. All right. So he is going to move forward. He's going to move to there. That's the end of his turn. He's going to swing down on you, Kyler. That definitely hits for a claw. Does it, though? He, uh, 19 plus 4. No. I'm invincible. <laughs> yeah, it hits you, buddy. Uh, 7 points of damage. 
And then he is going to go down. Bite. And again, glance off of your armor with a bite. Tiny, it's your turn. Okay. Um. Why can't I see the icon? Oh, no, I do. What the fuck? Oh, I gotta zoom in. Gotta see this fucking map. Can't see shit. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh. Wait, I'm exactly on four, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mac, you should be within a hundred feet of everything. Hmm? What? It, which we've got some battle music, or is this our battle music? I mean, I actually kind of like the super should... creepy vibe of it for the players. Yeah. It, it's just chill. That's all. Not all battle music is intense, crazy. Oh no, that's fine. We can make it intense wait, and crazy. Wait, wait, wait. They're ant. Wait. So these, you said these are much bigger wolves. Those but are they're the, not the brown ones. Those are normal size wolves. The gray ones are the bigger ones. Yes. Okay. Um. Is my speak with animals an? Yes, it is an action. Fuck. Um. I'm trying to think. But these wolves, these these gray ones are bigger though, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. they are they as big up. as the, Are they as no. big as the? They look like normal wolves. They're just double bigger. the size. Yeah. Okay. They're bigger than the werewolf. Yes. And which one did you hit? Uh. I, I hit four? the werewolf. Okay, he hit the werewolf. Okay. Yeah. The I, other I, wolves just showed up to the battle. Yeah. Plus, I'd probably still to... hit the werewolf. I'm gonna chaos what? bolt him. The, the werewolf. Sorry. Okay. The werewolf. That hits. What do I do now? Is that it? Hit Chaos right. Bolt to roll your damage. Oh. Nice. Is that good? I don't know. What did you cast it at? Second level? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that you guys watch as the bolt forms and shoots down from the sky, hitting the werewolf. And again, it calls out in pain as you hit it. It's disc, your turn. Is disc dead? I hope not. There's no space spiders. <laughs> cool. It's disc. He's muted, so I'm going to assume there's something going on on his end. I'm going, hmm. Duh. Duh. don't want to be over there, but I don't want to be there either. I'll move here. Going down, then left. Okay. And then I'm going to lance it again, and this time I'm going to use my help action to do that as well. Okay. Oh, it hits. Nice. Do you help yourself? What? I'm so going to use it. you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it hits. Uh, you cut into it again, piercing into its thigh, uh, feeling like you cut its femoral artery, or what you would assume is its femoral artery. Blood spurts everywhere. As you pull the weapon away, the blood stops. Maybe if we leave our weapons in it. 
Yeah, and then what? Tyler, your turn. I'm gonna swap tactics. Divine okay. favor. Okay. And then I'm gonna stab it. Sure. You're gonna divine favor it? No, divine favor is cast on his weapon. Oh. Alright. Yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll your hunter's mark and then your extra d4 of radiant. I can only do one of them because they're both concentration. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, yeah, roll your d4 of radiant. Okay. You watch as the blade cuts into him. Again, blood splatters everywhere, but the blood starts to heal. And then you see the, the radiance coming off of your blade. And he, again, howls in pain. Xander, your turn. Just going to swing my axe. Okay. All right. Yeah, that hits. Yep. You strike it. The blade cuts through his flesh again. And then again, it seems to heal itself. <laughs> He's going to move there. Well, bro. He's going to bite disc in the booty. Ah. As advantage. Uh, but he misses. He gnashes out at you, but misses. Too big. I saw him coming. I was ready for him. Make him go away, please. Hey, don't look at me. Vor, oh, I'm man. asking you specifically to help. That's his I, turn. I just, I, sure. <laughs> He's going to move up here. He's going to bite out. How dare he? Ba -da -ba -da. That hits for sure. For six points of damage. Oh. His turn. He's going to stand here. He's going to bite out at Xander. Natural 20. Twelve points of damage as he bites you. That's half. Uh, half. Yep, so six points of damage. It's his turn. It's this guy's turn. He's going to hit. Nine points of damage, Vorag, as he bites you. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I would suggest retreat, but I don't think any of us can outrun these. All right, this one goes to bite you, but with advantage, still misses. This is where we die. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Vora, your turn. Oh, actually, um, real quick, since nothing's happened except for a miss, that second one, I'm going to hellish rebuke him. Okay. I forget. I can, I can yep. do that. And because screw him specifically. Ooh, just barely. Um, yeah, the wolf that you hellish rebuke dies. Got him. Bite me, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> what else are you doing? All right, well, now that it's actually my turn, I got to think. Uh, hmm. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. This seems the most logical thing to do. Yeah, probably a good idea. All right. 
All right. Well, that's on the mount, I guess. Rolls. Yeah, Jesus. God damn. Now it's this guy's turn. Hmm. He's probably going to come down here. Fuck. All right. He misses with his bite. Werewolf's turn. Claw. The claw will miss. Bite will hit. Oh, boy. Roll a constitution saving throw. Someone's going to get werewolfed. He hit an 18? Come on. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> you rolled a 22. Fine. I'll walk this off. All right. If I have you, legs left at the um, end of this. You feel him bite down into like the crook of your arm where your plate doesn't really cover very well. Um, and as he bites you, you feel a strange sense leak into your body. But you're able to shake it off and the feeling goes away. <laughs> and take four points of damage. Tiny, it's your turn. Oh, boy. Okay, um... Tiny, I just want you to know, if you feel the best solution is to abandon me and then blow me up, do it. I mean, you just did cure <laughs> wounds on you, right? Uh, yeah. For five. For five? I did do it for five, but that's fine. He's been taking some hits, too. <laughs> It's fine. He's fine. Don't worry about Are it. Are you sure? So, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. You say that, but I'm about to fucking do Thunder Wave. Yeah, and it went fine last time. It'll go fine this time. <laughs> It'll be I really I. don't need you dying. I'm not going to die. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how much health you have, so that's why it makes me nervous. That's fine, because Kyler can always get me off the ground at least. Um... Yeah, I'm casting Thunder Wave. Okay. So it's a cube that originates off of you. Mm-hmm. So and which I'm wolf be do you doing want to it. hit? Hold on, I'm going to be doing it off of me, though, right? I'm going to be... Right. On. You're on his shoulders, so it's off yeah. of you. I'm going to be doing it this way because okay. it's a cone. Is it a cone or a cube? Oh, let me double check. I thought it was a cube, but it could be. Pretty sure it's um, a cube. Oh, no, it's a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you um it just is out from me it doesn't say it'll say in the range like 20 uh, foot cube or... 15 foot cube so it's yeah, a cube. 15 foot cube so it's a cube okay so it's a square so so if you're casting it this way uh-huh it's gonna hit everyone no what it's i'm confused a cube we oh. have this discussion every time. I keep forgetting. It's, it's a so... cube that points on you. So if you're casting it this way, it goes uh -huh. out 15 feet in this direction and okay. 15 feet in this direction. Oh, okay. So you can only hit one of these wolves with that cube, depending on how you angle it. Oh, fuck. I don't want to do that then. Right. So I hmm. thought it like radiates from... No, oh, right. it's the point okay. of origin. Iron Jesus be with me. Firebolt. Who are you firebolting? I'm going to firebolt um, this one right here. Okay, you missed the firebolt. Roll your D100. Really? Yeah. Uh... Roll the 10. <laughs> oh, God. D3? I don't remember what 53 is. You are bubbles. immune to being intoxicated by alcohol for the next 5d6 days. <laughs> she can win wow. a drinking contest! 5d6 <laughs> days? 22. You are immune to alcohol for a month. it down somewhere. Jesus. <laughs> well, Sticks, it looks like if you survive this, we're going to be trying to hold drink off. You don't so really know what's win. going on. Like, your body just kind of feels weird. You don't yeah. know what happened. <laughs> okay. It's disc, your turn. Um, That's it. Unless you move. Do you move? 
cat? No. I, well, I'm, th I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking. God. No, you're fine. Chill. No, because I don't have a bonus action. I know that I feel. <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. I'm good. It's disc, your turn. You are in melee of two wolves before you try anything crazy. Ah, that would help. So, uh, can I throw anything without incurring? Or would that be an issue? Throw anything? Yes. What are you trying to throw? I'm going to throw one of my uh, oil things on fire at the wolf. The werewolf. Okay, so to use an oil urn, you can... Well, I'd... you could throw it as your movement. Do you have anything to light it with? Uh, yes. Okay. Let me double check that quick. Yeah, that's part of my ruse. My, uh... Okay, so roll a d20 plus your dexterity mod to hit the wolf with the oil urn. Okay, dexterity is four, so slash r1d20 plus... God damn it. Why can't I not get the plus to work? There we go. It helps if I type it out properly. Okay. So you do manage to hit the wolf, and I assume you're going for the brown one or the bigger one? I'm going for the werewolf. Okay. You did specify the werewolf. I didn't hear, that's why I'm asking. All right, yeah, so you hit the werewolf with the oiler. Uh-huh. What do you have to light it on fire? Uh, tinders. Okay, so you need to be standing within melee to make that happen. <laughs> okay, well, it's on fire now, so that would be my move. Can I still attack? It's no, no, no. It's, it's not, not on fire. fire. It's just covered in oil. The oil. It's okay, covered so in oil. I did that for my move. Can I still attack or no? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go for the big one that tried to bite me. Okay. Duh. Nope. Yeah, you miss. Uh. Hmm. Turn. Yep. Kyler, your turn. I am going to bow of enmity, the werewolf. The werewolf? Okay. Yeah. And then I will attack it. All right. I have a vantage roll, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, good nice. thing I did that. So you hit for sure. Well, you also have this for me, so. <laughs> yep. Um... Until the spell ends. So you still do roll your extra 1d4. Okay, there it is. Uh... So, yeah. Again, you see your blade light up with radiance, and you hear him howl in pain. So, now... Am I able to maneuver within melee around him or no? Without incurring anything. You could move to like this spot. Because of this wolf. Okay. Does not get a hit from this one then? No, because this one's engaged definitely with us, engaged with both of you. Yeah. But it's up to you if you want to move there or not. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll stay next to Xander. Okay. Xander, your turn. <sighs> How's the werewolf looking? <laughs> Still just like healing up? or? I mean, to, for all the physical damage, yeah. It's got singe marks and stuff where it was hit with fire and the magical... What you assume is like the magical marks on it. But as far as your weapons cuts, it's not doing much. Nope. Do I feel like he's kind of the leader, pack and calling shots, or probably, yeah. He is the biggest. I thought these dire wolves are bigger. I mean, nope. no, the dire wolves are medium. The werewolf's large. Yeah. 
Plus, there's also the fact that, you know, we were attacking the werewolf, and the wolves started attacking us. Uh, I'm gonna attack this little guy. <laughs> yep, that hits. For sure. You murder it. <laughs> Jesus. It is no more. <laughs> it is dead. All right. That's the end of your turn. You're not moving. Uh, no. All right. This guy's turn. He's still there. He's going to reach out to bite you. Oh, no, he doesn't get it anymore. Yep. So he misses with his bite. Bite who? He tried to bite you. Hmm. But he missed. Uh, this guy's turn. He's going to bite at Vorag. Hit. Seven points of damage. Oh. Uh, all right. This guy's turn. He's dead. This guy's turn. He's dead. This guy's turn. He's going to miss. Thank Christ. Vorag, your turn. All right. Well, um, um, fuck, man. I will fire bolt the werewolf again. Oh, it's got the oil on it, too. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, smart. All right. So, yeah, you definitely hit it. For half damage. Okay. And so that, and then, well, I guess I'll roll it. All right. For an additional two. I'm also going to do a bonus action for my class and do 4d6 for your... of healing to myself. Okay, yeah, go for it. As I'm the on 46. In pain. Nice. I am fully wow. healed. <laughs> wow. Good shit, dude. But I cannot heal anyone for the rest of this, so have fun. Huh. Alright. I'm gonna die. This guy's turn. He's gonna bite. He misses his bite. Well, he hits you, but it glances off your armor. doesn't really do anything. Ooh, Tyler. Tanking the werewolf thing. turn claw miss bite here comes the bite miss. <laughs> tiny your turn uh, this is if you you if you want to use some of your movement get off of me and then cube me I understand no not if it's no it's just to damage you I'm not gonna do that that's dumb well, no, I mean, I don't I even just, insinuate that. I just, I, fully fully, I just fully healed. Oh, okay, I, I am I at full 20 HP. points of HP. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just I'm got I freaked out. He's okay, overcharged. So, yeah, you're good. so if I put if I put myself like right here, uh -huh. would that would that work? Yeah, you can angle it. So that way it originates off of you and hits everything in that 15 foot cube. Okay, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to move there. I'm use, cube. I'm use that. Okay. And then I'm a thunder wave. Okay. I will make my constitution saving throw now. <laughs> nice. I don't know Did what I need to do. that at level two? Yeah. How many second level spell slots do you have? Oh, wait. No, I can't do that. So I have to do it at one. You're right. I don't know how second level spells work. So I can well, only just, do it at level you one. You can only do it as many times there. as you have second level spell slots. Okay, cool. Uh, what was your... Yeah, you pass your DC. Alright. So you're going to take your half dam. I am One Gucci. Fails. Wow, they both fail. Death! Death! So they get knocked they back. Die. Oh. Yes! Blown back and dead. <laughs> yep. Alright, Sisk, your turn. Try this again. I am going to stab at him. Yep. Yeah, that hits. 
10 points of damage. Uh, you cut him, and he kind of just growls at you angrily. I'm going to talk to uh, to Xander and say, hit this one while I've got him pinned for the help action. Mm-hmm. Kyler. <laughs> to which one? Uh, the werewolf, I'm sure. yeah. The werewolf or the... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you hit him. Go ahead and roll your... Yep. All right. He's still standing. Ree! Goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. I'm hitting the one that's disc. Just hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Big ass damage. Plus He's two for rage. Standing. Yeah. He looks angry. I growl back. Kind of, uh, <sighs> you also kind of feel bad. <laughs> you also kind of feel bad. <laughs> it's not part of my pack, so. <sighs> uh, Where are your pack? He's going to hit you. Seven points, uh, so take four points of damage, because it's half. Okay. All right, that's his turn. He's dead, and he's dead. Borag, your turn. All right. Um, uh, let me go look at my repertoire of cantrips, for I am a cantrip ho. <laughs> Actually, no. Nah, Vorag mad. Um, I'm going to move here and see if that's game. I'm going to uh, use my dr my Dragonborn poison breath, and I'm going to shoot a line of acid straight at that hoe. How, what's the range in that line? Uh, it is a 5 by 30, so it's a 5 foot with a 30 foot five line. 30, yep. I just need to go double check the damage. Okay. So I don't remember what the roll for it is. Um, let's see. Looks like it's a saving throw with DC 8 plus my constitution plus my mm -hmm. proficiency. Mm -hmm. So it's 8 plus 2 plus 2, so 12. Cool. And what's the save? Is it dexterity? It is a uh, let's make a saving determined by um it's a, it's a deck save. Cool. Stis, roll dexterity saving throw. Uh wait. <laughs> oh, I guess he would be within thirty foot of that. Mm -hmm. My bad. And fails take half damage, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Just Go ahead and roll your damage. Thinks this is like all decks. <laughs> Creature takes two d six, half as much damage. Yep. So, easy. Cool. Nine points of acid damage. A. <laughs> Do I completely dodge it? No, you take four points of damage. Yeah, you oh, take you? four of acid. My bad. However, the werewolf howls in more pain and falls to the ground. Hey. I get a second wind and heal fully? Man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can't uh, even secretly help you with this, this point. Guy's turn. The shit. He hits. Five points of damage, Kyler. I'm fine. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Tiny, it's your turn. Me? Yeah. Yep. 
Oh god, I like stared at it. I was staring at myself when, when the turn order, and I was like, wait. That's wait. you. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I know. I was like, sitting there. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Um. Hard to use those, so. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit this one or aim for this one. The one closest to you, I assume. Okay. Yeah. Yep, you hit it. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Oh. Then Oof. roll your D100. A random creature within 60 feet of you becomes poisoned. Oh god. For one day, four hours. I swear to god. I hope it's Kyler. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> cool. I can do it this way. Like um, creature doesn't mean animals only? Because creature is Kyler. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, you really? You are poisoned. Kyler's immune to poison. Yeah. Kyler is immune to disease. He's immune to disease. Only. Uh, well, That's wait a second. Is he considered a creature? Mm hmm. Yes. It's we're all creatures. creatures. Okay. Well, Kyler is a creature confirmed. Know, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Humans well, are creatures. Fuck. Kyler, you don't feel so good. <laughs> Does it affect well, my constitution or is it other stats? Uh, How do we know what poison too? is? Give me a second. We Can we just do the whole thing, say. the trial with poison? Know. It just says becomes poisoned for one d four hours. Yeah, it's the status effect poison. Give me one second. Mm, okay. So okay, good. Doesn't matter if you're me. Yeah, it's fine. He'll be fine. As long as it doesn't reduce my dexterity by six, I would die. Creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability check. Ah, that's nothing. Oh, he's mm -hmm. fine. It's like he's oh, normal. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, right now he has advantage, so now he's just normal. Yeah. That's what I said. No, he had advantage on that one. No, I get oh, advantage from the wolf pack thing from Xander. Xander, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that I got that from him, so I used up a spell by accident, apparently. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Anyways, Stis, it's your turn. Okay, I'm not muted. Sorry about that sneeze. Uh. Oh, you must have muted for it. Same thing. Boop. Huh. Yep, you hit. Thanks. God, I'm hitting well tonight. That's never gonna happen again. You're rolling bad on damage, though. It's fine. It's a ten still. Hey. No, it's it's, it's, it's two. Enough. One. Isn't it one times two? And... No, the fucking thing rolls for you automatically. It just doubles as dice, so it's two d twelve, and it rolled two d twelve. Mhm. Mm All right. So you mm -hmm. killed that one. Kyler, your turn. Uh. Hmm. Bonus action. I'm gonna cheer Kyler on so he gets my help. I don't on know that what one. that achieves for me. Uh, let me see here. It when it said that. Uh. uh... I'm not when gonna attack action. this turn. I'm just gonna heal. All Kyler of would the points that, that I can. Five points of. Lay on hands will neutralize poison. It's just a status. It's not going to hurt me. Sure. It's just disadvantage. I'm fine. Okay. I need <laughs> all the need points for that. my hit points in case this thing bites me to death. Do what you want to do, man. I don't care. 15 points of healing. I'm fine. Okay. Xander, it's your turn. I'm gonna run up beside uh, uh -huh. Kyler here and swing my axe. That hits. Ooh. Plus two is a ten. Ten points, yep. Alright. Now it's his turn. He's dead. Vorag, your turn. Um. These wolves really pissing me off. So I'm gonna do a necrotic uh, touch. I'm a, I'm a touchy touchy. Mm-hmm. That hits. 
Take four, necrotic, you damn wolf. Okay. It's still up. And it's his turn. He's going to bite at Xander. He's going to miss. Tiny, it's your turn. Okay. Um... I'm going to do another firebolt. Okay. No, I won't. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Because mm. I use magic missiles, thunder wave, chaos bolt. I think I use all my spell slots. Don't forget about your oh. sorcery points that will allow you to reset your spells. Oh, or we'll give yeah. you spell slots. Okay, I want to do that and cast magic missile on the okay. wolf. Level one. Alright. You do ten points of damage. As the purple shards fly from your hand and explode on the body of the wolf. He is still standing. Stisk, your turn. Alright. I am going to move so I get a good angle on him there and i'm going to try to use my sneak attack with uh, my crossbow yeah that hits okay so i do damage plus 2d6 Damn. Alright, yep, and he dies. There you go. The fight is over. We are out of initiative. Wait, and we ran out of initiative? Is... Yeah, and that is where we will leave it. <laughs> you are all level four. <gasps> oh, boy. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Kyler dies from poison. <laughs> it's only a four hours. I'll revive after that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Cool. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Dullahan, for rescuing the stream. I'll see if I can try to figure out another solution for that. Um, And we will see you guys next week for the end of this mystery. We solved the mystery. We're like the Scooby-Doo crew. Only we use murder instead of investigation. <laughs> We're much better at murder. Yes, <laughs> much better. I just feel bad and, that uh, we could talk to the wolves. They should have sent a detective if they wanted a detective, damn it. Exactly. Clicking the button, everybody say goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.